हेलो एंड वेलकम टू वर्जियोज यूट्यूब चैनल द वेबिनार फॉर टुडे इज ऑन आर पी ए यू आई पार्ट टूटोरियल फॉर बिगनेस सो द इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर टुडेज वेबिनार इज मिस्टर रवि चांगले हु इज़ अ वेरी वेल एक्सपीरियंस डेटा साइंटिस्ट सो ओवर टू यू सो यू पास इज गोइंग टू बी रोबोटिक प्रोस ऑटोमेशन टूल एंड विच इज यूज फॉर यूर विंडोज डेस्क टॉप ऑटोमेशन मेनली it's going to be used for uh, repetitive and redundant task which to eliminate the human interventions it's going to be a tool which is simple to use and has drag and drop kind of functionalities of activities right apart from that you can see that it's it has got a standard studio version and it's going to have a trial period of 60 days the best part of the ui path is basically that it's going to have the community edition which is free for lifetime and has most of the functionalities of a studio version the only thing is that only few of them are not going to work out so for the development front you have to just have a paid service all right so we can come to that cost and all that but later on let's work out on ui path and see how exactly it works out installations are already done let's see now what exactly are the part of studies when we talk about ui path so we need to discuss something on the components of ui path the major components of ui path would be activities and sequences you won't understand this from a slider so what i do is i just write away come to my to tool and show you that how exactly you can see that components over there so let me come up here guys once again i am going to share the screen and that screen talks about the framework which i am going to have and let's get into a particular blank process so i'm just opening up my blank process out here and let me just create it all right so i think uh, you can see now the screen again and uh, it's now the main page of my ui path software you can see that there is start button which get, gets me back to the blank uh, process and it's basically a, about debug i'll discuss all these things one by one so you can see now i am going to work out here and the workout is basically now first of all in terms of major things let's see certain pains out there so major things which are the components are <clears throat> like activities and sequences So first of all, let me describe what is an activity, what is a sequence. Activity here means what? If I just click on my system or a laptop, it's an activity, right? And if I want to work out an automation of the entire email, it's a sequence. So sequence says nothing else but series of activities. Hey guys, please confirm. Are we clear on this? What is an activity? What is a sequence? Sequence is nothing else but series of activities we have. Okay, activity is nothing else but doing any operation on the UI path on your laptop. Or a computer system, so that we can automate it, right? From data integration to everything, we are going to see. All right. So as of now, you can see that I am going. I am going to work out in terms of a. You know, there is a pain here. That is activity pain. <clears throat> so, we have got certain workouts here. App integrations. we can have multiple applications they can integrate <coughs> we can have orchestrator 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 is going to be a uh, publishing tool for me so i can publish this workout with the websites on the websites there would be programming interface system ui automation we can have multiple user events and i can automate that there would be workflow so we'll be seeing all these things one by one so let me avoid this annotation now uh, let me erase the drawings now you can see i'm coming to this uh, activities which are available so app integration is like i can handle my excel file csv file i can automate them i can work out on a mailer also i can automate my mail transactions once i come to csv you can see i can append the data to csv read the csv files write the csv files i can work out on excel and you can see that there are huge things we can work out with excel i hope you know that what is excel file so it carries the information of your data sets you can read the cells you can create the formula you can read the formula you can create the columns you can work out on them you can save the work workbooks you can have applications over there so when we come to a particular full fledged program we can discuss all the inputs here as of now i'm going to just showcase uh, some of the important applications you can also see that i can automate my entire mail exchanges so i can work on pop3 that is smtp imap and then we can also work on ibm notes we can also work on exchanges 
orchestrator is to publicize my work so i can work handle my apis uh, alerts etc so we can raise alert we can you know work on the http request we can have certain assets over there we can perform certain jobs out there we can work on processes and queues etc the programming part if you see we can collect debug create data tables execute the operations etc uh, visual basic c sharp we can use it here and we have got the powershell here so you have to just drag it here okay if you want to use any powershell you have to just drag that particular powershell here so for example if i just work on it you can see that the command and text can be coded here this is how exactly we can use the command uh, here i'll come to the steps one by one let me just delete this first of all so visual basic steps you can uh, scripts you can work out ui automations you can work on browser automation uh, browser automation you know that i can have my explorers and it could be mozilla firefox or it could be google chrome i can automate them i can do the th routine works with them i can automate my every element like uh, i can automate my keyboard mouse whatever i find i search uh, whatever the events i handle over there on my laptop on computer even uh, if i do the daily routine work on images i can work out of them ocr the conversion of images to text also can be done here very easily that is on a automated mode we can go for text automation and working out on the text to uh, you know scan uh, scrap the screens and read out text out of that and there are so many actually so if we go on discussing i will i'll take at least one month to discuss this third you know basically 20 to 24 hours are required to run uh, learn all the things so i'm not discussing all the things today i'm going to discuss some of the basic applications only so would like to have your uh, workout for the same and let's have certain logic building etc so this particular activity pane is available the pane is basically to create certain activities the only thing is that you have got another pane here you can see that it's basically main and this will be working uh, environment for us all right so this is basically the working environment and apart from that you have got a ribbon out there which carries new files save, saving of this particular templates uh, working on a start button so if i have created a program it will start once i click it i can record my screen you can see that i can record my basic uh, workouts here i can uh, record my working on desktop i can record my website i can record uh, website uh, logins i can record my workout with images native settings etc even you can screen scrap yourself so your your laptop data scrapping can be done and uh, for that you have just to work on images i'm going back to this let me cancel it right now so you can also remove the unused uh, variables you can create variables here i'll show you how to create variables you can export the things to the excel and you can even publicize this we'll see some use cases and then we can go ahead, go about it all right so native citrix is a kind of a you know uh, workout wherein you are going to handle the payments and all so that also can be automated out there you can have some connectivities with native citrix it is also going to help you out with the streaming actually live streaming so you can manage all these transactions so can i go ahead with uh, the workouts here and with that we can now begin the session on ui path